The Steam Deck has been out for a while now. It's still one of the most powerful handhelds around. We already know it can handle AAA games with ease, but today we're talking about emulation. More specifically, original Xbox emulation. Because three years later, Zemu has changed a lot. I've had the Steam Deck for about a year now, and I want to see what 2025 looks like for OG Xbox on this thing. What works, what doesn't work, and how close it feels to the real hardware. Back when Zemu first debuted in late 2020, it was promising, but rough. Games booted, but performance was hit or miss, and compatibility hovered around 40%. Fast forward today, over 82% of the Xbox library is playable. That's huge. And now, Zemu feels less than an experiment and more like an actual console option on the deck. I tested out a few games that represent the OG Xbox best mix of genres, from shooters and fighters to racers and RPGs. Let's go over how each one ran. Starting strong with Halo Combat Evolve, this one still shines. It's stable around 30 frames per second, smooth controls, and the gunplay feels great. Even with explosions and effects, it never really choked. Jet Surf Radio Future, stylish as ever, vibrant colors, smooth animation, but the boost buttons still tanks the frame rate into the mid-20s. Not unplayable, but noticeable. Blinks 2, Master of Time and Space, steady performance most of the time, some effects heavy scenes cause dips, but it's finally stable. It's cool seeing a game that barely ran before actually feel playable. Get ready, Dead or Alive runs clean, but has its hiccups. A steady 30 frames per second most of the time, just some minor hitches during transitions. It's responsive, fluid, and plays just like it should. Sonic Riders looks amazing on the deck screen. Races run smooth unless there are a ton of effects or AI on the screen. Still a fun, fluid experience overall. Dragon Ball Z Sagas runs fine. 30 frames per second with some drops and heavy fights. Not flawless, but perfectly playable. Auto Modelista, this one's a visual treat. The cell shading looks sharp and the driving looks smooth. Though some tracks show uneven frame pacing, it's still a good game to play. Next up is NBA Inside Drive 2004. Crowds and replays cause dips, but gameplay itself stays consistent. If you want some retro basketball, this is solid. As for Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, expect slowdown. Still, they are surprisingly enjoyable on a handheld. Overall, most of the games held around 30 frames per second with only brief dips and crowded or effect heavy scenes. Compared to how Zemu ran just a couple years ago, this is a massive leap. It's not perfect, some games still crash, a few need patches, and performance can vary. But Zemu's progress shows how much the emulation scene has evolved in just a few years. So here's my takeaway. If you want to play OG Xbox titles, Zemu on the Steam Deck delivers. It's not 100% perfect, but you're gonna still encounter frame rate dips and a couple quirks. But compared to the early days when Zemu originally came out, it's night and day. However, if you want a plug and play performance, the original Xbox hardware still wins. But if you're tinkering and seeing what the deck can do, this is the best Zemu has ever been. And I encourage you to go out there get some games, some of your originals, and start playing. I appreciate you guys for watching. Till again, like and subscribe to my page, and let me know which Xbox games are you playing on the Steam Deck using the Zemu emulator.